Well, we've looked at Henry's foreign policy um, in 1513, um, the high point of his foreign policy, the Great Expedition, the defeat of the Scots at Flodden Field, the Battle of the Spurs, um, the successes at Tarouan, Tournay. We're now going to look at what happened after that. So we said that Henry had basically blown his inheritance by 1513. So he needed to adopt a new approach to foreign policy after 1513. So we're going to look today, we're going to look now at the years between 1513 and 1517. So 1513, great expedition, great success. The French king is Louis XII. Louis XII isn't particularly interested in war with England. So in 1514, he is presented with a peace treaty from England. So he signs it. So Henry is forced through necessity, because he can't afford war with France anymore, he is forced to sign a peace treaty with France in 1514. So what we have is the Anglo-French peace treaty of 1514. So Henry goes full circle. It goes from war with France in 1513 to signing a peace treaty with them in 1514. Under the terms, he loses his sister Mary. Mary heads off to France. She marries Louis XII. Louis is old. He's not particularly attractive. Mary is young. She's charismatic, um, like her older brother. Um, she is attractive. Louis has no male heir, so he hopes that poor Mary will fall pregnant. So it's not a particularly mar um, happy marriage as far as, as Mary is concerned. So Henry loses Mary. She's an important bargaining chip in international diplomacy. Um, under the other terms of the treaty, Henry gets to keep Tournay, one of the two French towns he wins in 1513. Terouanne had been gifted already to Maximilian, the Holy Roman Empire. Um, Henry also sees a slight increase to the French pension, which had been granted to England in the reign of Edward IV. And it's also what Henry VII gets in the, in the Treaty of the Tarples, which we've looked at. So, 1514 is a bad year for Henry and foreign policy. If 1514 is a bad year, 1515 is a disastrous year. Um, so firstly, Louis XII dies. Louis XII is replaced by Francis I. Francis I becomes Henry's great rival. Um, Francis is younger. He sees himself as the very similar Francis I and Henry VIII. The people who are so similar quite often clash, don't they? So Francis I is the new king. What he should have done is he should have returned Mary which is now Louis XII's widow, he should have returned her to England so that Henry could probably use her again in the marriage market. Instead, what he does is the man who is sent to France to bring Mary back to England is the, is the Duke, of Stu Duke of Suffolk. So the Duke of Suffolk heads to France to bring back um, Mary. Mary is in love with the Duke of Suffolk. Francis allows them to marry. That is seen as a big slap in the face, a big insult um, to England. Um, he also allows, Francis I also allows, for the Duke of Albany um, to overthrow Mar Margaret's regency in Scotland. So Henry's influence in Scotland is also lost. Henry isn't in a position to react or respond to this because he cannot afford to go to war with France. What he does, so he can't afford to go to war himself with France. What he does is he gives money to Maximilian, limited resources Henry has. He gives money to the Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian to go to war with France. Henry is once again manipulated by another foreign leader, outmaneuvered by them. Maximilian basically takes the money, but then defects to the French. So 1515 is a bad year for Henry. 1516 doesn't get much better. So 1516 sees Thomas Wolsey trying to orchestrate, trying to organise an anti-French alliance led by England and led by Spain. Unfortunately, he is in negotiations with Ferdinand of Aragon to organise this. But in 1516, Ferdinand of Aragon dies. He is replaced with Charles. Charles, again, is 
younger than Henry, becomes one of the sort of great rivals. Charles is Catherine of Aragon's nephew. Um, he isn't interested in such an agreement. Instead, um, in 1516, France and Spain sign a treaty, the Treaty of Nile. Um, so it, this doesn't look good for Henry. Henry's foreign policy was based on an anti-French Spanish alliance. The Treaty of Nyon brings Spain and France closer together. 1517, we also see a peace at Cambrai between Maximilian, the Holy Roman Emperor, um, and France. So Henry is left by 1517 looking quite isolated.